The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at this crude oil. We've been watching it for several days. You know, we've been looking for this three drive to form up here at around 79.31. But this morning, I would like to talk to you about this section right here. If we go down to a 13 minute chart, you're going to see an absolutely perfect pattern. Just clean all this out so we can see it real easily. You can see the uh, A. B, C, D pattern coming in here. You can see the A, B, C, D padding, pattern coming in right there. But what you don't see, unless you're really looking for it, is that 382 retracement. Remember, in really strong trending markets, you go to the exact number. Uh, the low was uh, 18. Uh, excuse me, the low was 15, and the, the number was 18. So that would have been the buy right here. And then, look at this. You have a really strong rally. You rally well over a dollar a barrel heading towards that 79 and change and let's just see what that last pullback is right here the another small little ABCD right there what do you think it's going to be Johnny raise your hand over there with that placard that you always carry with yes sir 382 and where is it at right there there's your 382 right on the money folks in strong trending markets you got to pay attention to this one I know this stock market hasn't gone down yet well, it has gone down, but much. But we got to start watching this because when it happens, this is going to be the go-to signal because when you see these in real strong trending markets, the risk is very small, the profit is very large, and it's worth uh, it's worth its weight in gold. That's really the way I look at it. You know, unfortunately, it's like some gold. Sometimes it's false gold, and you don't get to see the gold nuggets after all because the pattern doesn't work. That's what you have to be afraid of. Or don't have to be afraid of it. You just got to be ready. But make sure that you'll be watching this when we get up this level here at this 79. There's your 1.618 expansion up there at 79.40. We should get to there sometime today or tomorrow. That's only a, less than a dollar a barrel away. And with the fighting going on over there with all these different uh, fractions, which I don't know who they are, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it all uh, how it all pans out, okay? Now, the other one that we were looking at last night that ended up uh, still doing relatively well is that we saw this uh, pattern up here at the 78% level here in the gold market. I sent out the thing out saying it's probably getting ready, you know, to back off from this level. And uh, we had a, it went up, we were suggesting here at 47, it went to 48, which was a 78% level. Our stop was right above here, right above 10.50. And of course, this happened after this, so we didn't we didn't know that all this was going to be happening. Now we've broken down sharply. We we dropped well over eleven dollars a barrel, and what we're doing now is we're rallying back. So the strong trending market, same rules apply. Where are we trading right now? We're trading right at the three eight two at twenty forty three uh, in the gold. So this should be uh, shouldn't get any higher than this right now. Your stop on this, of course, we did lock in three dollars at twenty forty six. That's what you'd be watching. You can see on the way down, you know, I, I, I know you guys get tired of looking at ABCDs, but folks, I've been doing this for so long and I never get tired of looking at them. They just absolutely amaze amaze me. But but look at look at the look at the gold market today on the way down. This is one of the largest markets in the world. There's your first pattern right there. There's A B equals C D coming in right there okay then you got another one right i'm just doing this the first time i haven't done this yet there's your second one coming in right here and then you got the third one coming in from this high down to this low would take you up to about to there and then finally you have the last one right in here you can just blow this up if you wanted to see how clean it is there's a there's drive one there's drive two there's drive three and that should be a pretty good bottom, and we are getting a, our first retracement in here. And so that's what we're watching here at this 382 level. And that's all they are, folks. There are patterns that work some of the time. They don't work all the time. But, boy, 
If you find something better, call me up because I haven't found anything better. Unfortunately, not everybody believes what you see and how you do it, but that's the way it goes. Now, the big question is, boys and girls, the cattle yesterday, remember said being a short up there at that 188.70. Cattle have now broken down well over a point. And there was your ABCD up here. It opened a little bit lower this morning, rallied up, matched this high, and then boom, your stop was, of course, at 189.60. It's now you know down two full points from that level, and you're making a nice little piece of change in that one. So you want to make sure now, after this high is put in here, you don't want it to go to a loss. So just put your stop up here, break even at 188.60 if you're in the cattle. And that should uh, protect, well, it'll definitely protect you from a loss. like to make a profit, but you don't always get those. Now, let's talk just a moment here about the corn market. I've got to bring this chart up. Uh, hold on, I can just tile vertical. I've got corn in here because I'm watching it so closely. Where are you, corn? I thought it was. Yeah, here it is right here. Here's uh, December corn. This is the new crop corn has not been built yet. And we were saying we had this bottom. Let's just look at it on the daily first. I, I'm not even sure that the bottom is in yet. All I know is that we've had a pretty good rally here today. We rallied from uh, 40, from 46 all the way up to 60, rallied 16 cents. Boy, that's real close to the 18 cent harmonic number uh, in the gold. But let's just, in, in corn, let's just blow this up over the last few days and see if, and it most probably was an exact 382 off of this high right here. So we'll look at there from this here to that level right here. Uh, it went a little above the uh, 382 by about two or three cents, but that's where we're setting right now. I was suggesting, and if you really believe that this is the bottom, here's I'm just going to do this on a short term, is look for a 382 retracement on this. Now we made a higher high today. See, here it was last night, but we made a higher high this morning. So your 382 is going to come in way down here. Well, that's only three cents away. At uh, 50, see, there's where it used to be. Now here is at 56. So watch this. If it doesn't get any lower than this right here, you can become a farmer here for at buying it at uh, 456 and selling it at 450. You're only risking $300. Your, your stop should go below here, which is a 786. So. That's seven cents. You can become a farmer for $350. Where in the world can you become a farmer for $350 except the Chicago Board of Trade? Hello, operator. Anyway, that's one way of looking at it. Now, the soybeans themselves, I'm extremely bullish soybeans, but they haven't bottomed yet. And so we don't have a position, and we're waiting to see where the next is going to be. There's the movement here over the last couple of days. We rallied up today. Didn't do very much. Let's see where it rallied to. Let's just go back to, well, there's your last high here. We rallied to the 50% of that one. And if you measured from the last big high way back here on right before Valentine's Day, that one came in uh, right about the uh, 50%, the 382 on this one and 50% on that one. That's why it's giving a little bit of a little bit of a problem here. and It's backing off a little bit. But we're ready to buy the beans when they get there. Remember, they have not been planted as of yet. That planning intentions will come out a little bit later, but that's what we're going to be looking at. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to talk about uh, U.S. dollar and currencies when we come right back. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. 
educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey, because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, this is the euro. Uh, let's try it again. There is the U.S. dollar index, which is basically 53% uh, of the euro. Uh, you'll notice here the big ABCD pattern uh, on the downside, just absolute perfection. Then we have the big rally up. But look at the ABCDs on the way up, folks. I mean, there's a lot of little ones in here, and they're tradable. Of course they are, but you've got to be focusing on that's what you're doing. You can't do all the trades. I mean, there's just so many of them. You stop and think of the grains, foreign exchange, treasury bonds, all the indices, crude oil, heating oil, gasoline, natural gas. There's so many, you just got to pick one. Here's what I'm trying to focus on right now. There was your 61% retracement here at 104.44. We went above there for one or two days. That was right during the time of uh, Valentine's Day when the Fed was out there. And then, boom, the market came down. And look where it stopped. Let's just double check. I already know this, so bear with me here. We went exactly to the tick at 103.12. There's where the game's being played, folks. If we get below this, you see we came down and we didn't rally. You see, all we did is we made this low, and now we've continued lower. That is not a good sign for the euro. Okay, so we got to watch that very, very closely. We're going to go down to a 60-minute chart to see if we can clarify what we're seeing. And there, as you can see, there's where the breakout was. Now we had the big move up. You're going to see the 382 is going to come in right here. I think that's – isn't that – so maybe it's the wrong three eight two. No, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. Why is that? Uh, well, the three eight two says it's right here, and yet it went a little bit above it here. So I uh, don't. I'm not really. I'm really. Let's just look at that daily one more time, okay? Just to be safe. Yeah. Okay. Here it is on the downside, not the upside. Larry, get get your act together. There's your sixty minute. Okay. Here it is on the downside right here. That was the three eight two coming in right there that was a 382 off of this low way back here there it is right on the money i believe now why does that now nah, this is not good folks when i'm seeing data like this this is not correct because i'm looking at this on a 60 minute that goes back to march or uh, january get this up here on the daily 
Okay, that's all the way to December. So I have to go back to December to get this low to come in 103. I was looking at it in here. So this is a correct low, but the problem is it had that low. Okay, and then it rallied, but then it's giving back the rally. And so that's not a good sign. If we look at this on a little bit smaller time frame, you'll see that we've had another ABCD here this morning. It rallied up, went a little bit higher than the CD leg, but look what we've done here. We're just basically backing off and it's not acting like it wants to go higher. And if you look at this, you know, the last little tiny rally, which was only 20 some pips, uh, well, actually, well, eight pips only went up to here. So it looks like it's heading lower. You know, you got some ABCDs in here. There's no question about that. That was a, that was just about a perfect one. You know, this thing is probably the easiest thing to trade of anything you could possibly pick. How much did it miss? It well, missed it by quite a bit. Uh, well, let me see, 53. <laughs> missed it by three pips. It's really not very much in here. Right now, it looks like it won. This looks like the euro. Gosh, Larry, the dollar index looks like it wants to go lower. That means the euro should look like it wants to go higher. So if you look at this on the euro, we'll get this up here. Take a quick look at it here. Clean out all of this, and you'll see here. You can see the ABCDs all the way down. You don't have to, well, you should draw them in just for kicks and giggles. There's your first one right here. There's your ABCD leg right there. It says 107.31. Then you've got another one coming in, a uh, little smaller one right here, right there. Then we got the bigger one coming in right here. And that's the one that should have taken you down. Oh, we're not quite there yet. I think we might get down to this level right here. But we are rallying back a little bit, and we should test to see. So on this daily, I believe we're right at the 382 yesterday. Yeah, we were. And we're back there again right now. We're sitting right at that 382. Now, this is a daily, so we've been rallying for quite a while, folks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 days to get to the 382. Boy, that that's a sign that it's not very strong. That's what it looks like. But, you know, again, the dollar index, uh, you know, doesn't look that strong, much stronger easier, easier either so let's be uh i'm gonna have to defer on anything like this right now i will look at the 60 minute here just one more time to see what it looks like here now there's the uh, 60 minute on the uh, dollar uh, the euro and as you can see the 382 is right up here so we're yep there it is let's just draw it again so we can see it and there it is right there. So there's the area where it should have some resistance, and, and that's what it is. I have to assume after a 14-day rally and only doing this, you only rally a high – well, I see, right? You dry, don't you? dry 75, 85. You rally 150 pips in 14 days. That is not very much. So my assumption is we're probably getting ready to uh, to go lower. I haven't seen – we, we backed off from here, but we came right back. So there's – not indication yet. All the ABCDs have been completed. Let's just draw them in just so we can see them unfold here. That's the first one. Then we got the second one coming in. That would be right behind it right there. That would have been your high pretty pretty close to that level right there. I, you know, that's not drawing it right, but close enough. Uh, uh, four pips away, so that's pretty much it. And then we have one possible one more. That would take it back up to maybe one more run up into this area and then roll over. But I, I have to be a seller up here at uh, 108.69. That's 14 pips from where it is right now. And put put your stop above here because it's taken this long to make a 382 retracement. To me, that's not a sign of strength, folks. That's what it looks like from the cheap seats. They're not so cheap here in Tucson anymore because property is still going up. We only have one home in our neighborhood of 80 homes that is for sale just one and it isn't mine <laughs> anyway let's move ours i should say okay let's move on to the next one uh, which is the british pound i always get questions because sarah's son jackie is an attorney over there in the uk and uh i believe i i felt that th that's the japanese yen larry trying to get the right one here's the british pound right here that's i believe there was going to be a lot of resistance in the British pound between 127, let's get it up here where we are right now, 127 where we are right now, and the possibility that we could get to 129. That's what I thought it would be for quite a while. It's still in this area right here, not doing very much at all. It's very quiet, hard to 
you know, the, the patterns are there, but they're relatively small. You'll see the same A, B, C, D patterns there that you see everywhere. There's your A, B leg right there. There's your C, D leg. Where does it stop? Right here on the way back up. There it is right there. Check the relationships. We should be pretty much spot on at a 61 almost right here. So this should give it some resistance in this area just like this one did. And then one would assume that you'd have one more leg like this taking it down back into that 125 level. So that's what we're watching here in the British Pound. We're going to take a break here. When we come back, we're going to have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insight as our guest. And I hope that uh, you'll have a chance to stay tuned and listen to it. It'll always be a lot of fun. So we'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. We haven't had him on for uh, quite a while. It was back in January the 23rd, and I asked Jeff, if he would be kind enough to show us some of the stock trades that he had had recently, because I know that the Elliott Wave stuff has uh, gone a little haywire, but uh, boy, the stock that you've picked, Jeff, have done incredibly well. Could we go through a few of them just to show the folks what you were looking at? Yeah, sure thing, Larry, and thanks again for having me on the show. 
Uh, in fact, the last time I was on, I think it was the 17th of uh, January. Wow. And uh, at that time, I, uh, I shared with the audience what we described as a very fat pitch. It was uh, a stock that we were interested in called Intuitive Surgical, symbol was ISRG. Stock was trading about $3, $359 a share at that time. And we saw a pattern that we described as a classic patterned base formation of the cup and handle variety. And uh, we were expecting a breakout. And since that time, we've actually seen the stock uh, jump about $28 a share over the last 40 days or so uh, since we recommended it. That's a gain of about 7.8% uh, and uh, beating the S&P, which is up about 6.2% over the exact same period. Very good, very good. I, I actually met someone that started that company, Intuitive Surgical, many, many years ago. Um, okay, this is your uh, this year, last four months. This are your trades over the last four months, Jeff. Is that what we're looking at right here? That, that's right, actually. You had uh, an 82% 82, 82 uh, win rate? Yeah, that's, that's right. Over the last four months, uh, 82%. Typically, in a bull market, our win rate's a little over 50% on average. And in a bear market, it's closer to around 33%. So about, you know, one, one out of two trades is a winner in a bull market. One out of three trades is a winner in a bear market. What makes wow. us differentiated from most traders out there is we cut our losses very quickly. When we have something that's moving against us, we let it get stopped out uh, with fairly tight stops. Our profit factor over the last four months is about 24 to 1. So we're, you know, most of our stocks are producing dramatically uh, greater gains than our, than our losses are losing. Uh, but we would typically have a fa uh, consider a profit factor of 3 to 1 to be, you know, outstanding. Um, over the last four months, our weighted average total return has been about 8.7%. If we were to annualize that based on the time-weighted, um, you know, sort, sort of entry price for every single one of these trades listed, it would annualize at about 26.8%. So, you know, that's the market, good. you could throw a dart, honestly, and uh, hit an index that's up 20% over the last four months. So um, I wouldn't say that this performance is necessarily, you know, off the charts, outstanding, but... Bear in mind that most of these trades were put on over the last eight weeks. And so um, I, I would look at it this way. Our process is very consistent, and uh, we, we tend to put up pretty good returns, typically you know, mid-double digits, even in a bad year. Last year we were up 14%, and it was what I would consider to be a pretty bad year considering the S&P was up 24%. But, uh, you know, we, we're looking for um, opportunities – to make 15 to 25 percent in a one to three month period that's typically the sort of trade setup that we're looking for we're more of a swing trading sort of approach um, I'll just describe our approach it's pretty simple Larry we're looking for you know stocks that are making new 52 week highs that are emerging from some type of a well-defined range consolidation or classic pattern base and uh, we let these stocks run as long as they can, and we sell them when they break their 50-day moving average. Uh, sometimes if they start going vertical on us, we'll, we'll move that to a 20-day moving average. But, you know, more importantly, um, we're, we're, we're focused on risk management. We don't take big position sizes. We think for any individual stock of 5% positions, about all we're willing to, uh, to risk. If it's a sector, we'll maybe go 10%. And if it's more like a, a market, an index, like the S&P, we'd go 20%. Uh, but we really want to focus on um, protecting our capital as opposed to swinging for the fence. Mm -hmm. I see that uh, you actually had some in, in NVIDIA while it was on its way up. That's a pretty good job there. Great job. Okay, let's Yeah, you know, on. we had no idea yeah. it was going to go to 800. If we did, we wouldn't yeah. have pulled it. But uh, we, we caught that breakout, and we, we saw a – you know, a measured move opportunity. We we captured about a hundred points or so on that one, and uh, looked pretty good. Okay. Now we're looking at your uh, top uh, actionable trade ideas. You want to tell the folks you've got bullish trade setups and bearish trade setups. You want to tell the folks uh, what you're looking at here. Yeah. You know, um, two things. Number one, this is our our weekly institutional publication called uh, Alpha Insights uh, Weekly Playbook, and so we look at a lot of different things. You've 
probably if you've seen our presentations in the past, you know we, we do a lot of work on the markets, et cetera, top-down macro stuff. But we always put out five longs and five shorts every week for our clients. A lot of our clients are hedge funds, and they're looking for short ideas. And so the way that we kind of parse through the markets is we look at about 1,500 charts every week. And that's the S&P 1500. And then, you know, a few others that aren't in the index that are of interest. And we're trying to identify those stocks that kind of meet the criteria that I just described, but also have very strong relative strength characteristics. In other words, if you own those stocks, they're going to outperform the market, so to speak, which is really what our, our institutional clients are trying to do. And if you're a short seller, we're looking for stocks that have not a fundamental catalyst, but a technical catalyst, a breakdown. They're in a, an extended downtrend. They're underperforming. And so, you know, capital is not going to seek them out. Capital seeks relative outperformance, and it avoids relative underperformance. And so all of our bearish trade setups are really underperforming stocks that, you know, only deep value guys might look at, unless it's a company like uh, Exact Sciences, which – you know, is trading at a hundred times earnings, so it's not a value idea, but uh, one that you know probably has a lot of downside. Well, I tell you, these prices, some of these stocks, when I look at them, my goodness, I, I shake my head and say, holy cow, how did a pizza company ever get to be five hundred dollars a share? But make us sell a lot of pizza, I guess that'll do it. Jeff, question <laughs> that one one of our listeners has asked: uh, the Russells had a big move today. We got up to. Uh, uh, 2060, uh, I believe. Uh, he would like to know, do you think this is a breakout in the Russell, or is this a place where you'd want to be looking to uh, go short? Do you have an opinion on that? I do. Um, you know, we think that the Russell is still trading um, below its 50% retracement of the decline off the, uh, uh, the, mm -hmm. the November 2021 high into the October 2022 low. Um, you know, it's only retraced 50%. A lot of people are looking at this pattern as being kind of a base. I see it more as a corrective waveform, and I think that there's another big leg down. Now, we, in our top-down work, we've given this a little bit of uh, upside potential. We think there's a possibility we could see uh, the Russell move up to, say, 2150 or so before it reverses. Uh, that's one of the patterns we're looking at. But uh, I, I think it's a, a low probability that it moves significantly higher than um, it, its recent highs. And so I would be looking more as, as a, an opportunity to sell. Uh, okay. One thing I'd point out is momentum is diverging negative. Okay, stay tuned. Jeff Hughes, Alpha Insights, we'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, some of his stock picks over the past few months. And we're looking at one that I've never heard of. Well, it's not a big surprise. Tapestry. Uh, what do they do? They do uh, linens and stuff like that, or are they software? <laughs> Larry, I, I know it's a retailer, and that's about it. Uh, oh, okay. You know, what I can tell you is, you know, it meets our criteria. The stock made a new 52 okay. week high, it's on the verge of breaking out to a new all time high. Uh, on a weekly closing basis, that would be a trigger for us. Uh, that would resolve a you know classic pattern double bottom formation here, and a breakout above 50 would project a measured move to about 74 based on that double bottom base. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'd set our stop loss right around 42 as an initial point, uh, and then we'd watch that 50-day moving average. And as soon as it caught up to our entry price, we would then use the 50-day moving average as our trailing stop. Very and, good, You know, very the one good. thing I'd mention is we always use a closing price because, you know, mm -hmm. markets are volatile during the day. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't like to use intraday uh, volatility as a stock. You can get, you know, shaken out of position. So if the stock were to close below the 50-day, we would sell it out on the open the following day. Yeah. The next one is interesting to me because I like automobiles, and it's Carvana. And I frankly don't know how these people stay in business because uh, <laughs> I follow their bids and stuff. And, uh, well, I better shut up and uh, keep myself as being thought of will then be opening my mouth and remove all doubt. So I'm not going to say another word about Carvana except be careful. <laughs> Go ahead, my friend. Well, you know, we published this on Sunday night. So, you know, our clients had an opportunity to buy the stock Monday morning at around $69 or so. It's actually up 15%, almost 16% today, trading around 80, 81. Uh, so it's wow. had a really nice move uh, out of the gate here. But honestly, we think this breakout around uh, $60, between 55 and $60, that gave us um, you know, that that resolution of this this classic pattern inverted yep. head and shoulders base formation uh, that's been in play for the last couple of years. And uh, we think by resolving that base, we can project upside to around $120 initially. Uh, we've set our stop loss at $51. That's pretty much right where the 50-day moving average is. And so we're just going to let that follow the stock up. If it were to close on a daily closing basis below uh, the 50-day, we would sell the stock as, as kind of a risk management procedure. Um, you know, the other thing I'd point out is we can raise our, star, our, uh, our target prices. And so, you know, oftentimes we'll see a big move to our target price, and uh, the stock still looks good. So we'll reevaluate, we'll put out uh, a higher target, and we'll put out a, a, you know, another stop loss where we say this is kind of where we're going to protect our gains. And, uh, you know, so when stocks make these big moves, and we probably should have done that with NVIDIA, but uh, at the point where we sold NVIDIA, the market was, was so volatile then, we just figured, you know, why give up a quick 100-point move in a stock like NVIDIA when you just don't know what the market's going to do? 
Okay, this next one is one of my favorites. Now we go from un undesirable. Well, stop it, Larry. I like Shake Shack a lot. I love their products. <laughs> it, it's uh, it's an interesting uh, play here because again, very much like Carvana, you've got this large degree base that's been uh, forming over the course of the last two years. And it's a classic pattern base formation of a cup and handle variety. We saw a huge breakout, that long white candle uh, above $80. And, you know, that bullish inflection above 80 gives us the ability to project the target to around 125 Even paying $98 for it, you know, you're still getting about 25-plus percent upside potential. Uh, we would set our stop loss. Uh, at about 89. And one of the ways we come up with that stop loss is we look at the average true range of the stock and we take a multiple of two times that average true range and just come up with, you know, that level below uh, uh, the current trading prices being kind of where we want to put our initial stop loss provision. And then again, once that 50 day catches up to our entry price, that would then become our trailing stop. Very, very good. I like this. This I really like going through these stocks. We should do this more often because it's very informative for me. This one actually looks like it's on the downside. What a head and shoulders pattern that is. My goodness, even a blind man could see that one. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, yes. Again, this is that exact sciences company I mentioned earlier trades at a very high multiple. This is one of Kathy Wood's big holdings, and it's okay. been a terrible stock. Uh, for really the last year or so as it's come down from 100 to around 57. But as you can see, it broke its uptrend uh, back in, what, August of, of 2023, and it's been putting in this top formation, classic pattern top of the head and shoulders variety. Uh, we've broken the neckline definitively on a weekly closing basis uh, below 60, and that counts down to about $20 a share. Uh, now, we're using a stop loss of 64, which is just above the range of the prior week, kind of right where that 50-day comes into play. And, again, if we got a daily close above that 64 level, we'd cover the short. We tend to want to keep our stops a little tighter on shorts. And, by, and by the way, Larry, you know, I think shorting stocks is really just for experts. If you're not an expert, uh, there's no reason for you to try it. It's um, – you can lose a lot of money if you're wrong and if you don't know how to protect capital. And if you take too big of a position size and the stock gaps through your stop loss, um, you can really mess with you. So um, I'd be very careful on the short side. We usually only show these sorts of ideas to professional investors. Um, you know, our newsletter subscribers actually get a, a special publication that we put out every Wednesday called idea generator lab and that gives um, investors our top actionable long idea every week and uh, that's what that uh, that track record that i showed you is really directly from that igl portfolio the idea generator lab these are just our Very wednesday good. top actionable trade ideas uh and uh and those have worked out quite well as you saw why don't you uh, repeat to the folks that are in their car about how they can reach you on your website twitter and substack your uh, address is sure. there yeah, you know, again, um, we have this monthly newsletter that's available on Substack. You can get it at hugeinsights.substack.com. We put this uh, this newsletter out every month. Next edition is going to come out on uh, Saturday, March 2nd. That's this upcoming Saturday. And uh, it should be pretty good. We've got some pretty good material we're going to cover on the macro side, uh, where we think the market's going, and a couple of stock picks as well. Uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, you can follow us on Twitter. That's at alpha underscore insights uh, we put a lot of free you know uh, information out there on twitter that you can take a look at and then of course you can always go to our website it's www.jwhinvestment.com and uh, if you have questions or whatnot uh, feel free to uh, to send us a a note uh, via the, the website now, that's really great. We're going to have you on sooner this time. You're not going to get away for a month this time. We're going to have you on in a couple of weeks, okay? <laughs> All I right. Really well, like, I'm going to be in I'd New like Zealand for the next three weeks, so uh, maybe New when Zealand. I get back. <laughs> oh, man, that's a beautiful place. Where are you going, to Auckland, or where are you, where are you going to be? We'll be we're, we're going to be all over the place. Uh, we're going to tour yeah. the entire uh, country. Are you going to uh, do? Uh, you going to go up into the mountains where the snow is and stuff? That's really spectacular up there. We will. Yep. Oh, good. We'll have a safe trip, and when you get back, we'll have you on. Okay. Sounds great. Terrific. You bet. Thank you. Bet. you.
You bet. Jeff Huge Alpha Insights, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, here's a chart of the Russell. As you can see, this is going back over the last several weeks. We're up in an ABCD. We're a little above the 78% level. It could go higher, folks. I, uh, you know, just because of the fact that you look at this on the long term weekly, you know, we are still in an area that is, uh, you know, quite a bit lower than the rest of the market. 61% uh, retracement on this is all the way up to 2139. So we could possibly get to there, and the market still, you know, could be going lower. So these are, like uh, Basil says, it's a bifurcated market. There's one for the S&P, one for the Dow. One for the NASDAQ and one for the Russell. You better pay attention to the one that you're doing because that's what's important. One on a, on the, one, a little note here about Bitcoin here at uh, 58,000. Oh, shucks, this is not good. Got to turn this off. Hold on a second and then I'll be okay. Um, the uh, Bitcoin, I, I don't know where it's going to go, folks. All I know is uh, none of my friends are involved with it, with the exception of John Jameson. He's heavily involved in it, but uh, I don't know anything about it. I don't profess to know anything about it. All it, all I know that it, it really sounds iffy and, and, and a little fishy to me. So be careful if you're in that thing because uh, – 
you know, I, I hear John telling me on one side that it's worth nothing, and on the other side, it's worth two hundred thousand. So, pay your money and make your bet. That's basically it. But I'd be very, very afraid. But of course, at my age, I don't get afraid very easily. But that's how I do it. One quick story. Back in the days at Drexel, there was a stock called Renaissance something or other. I don't remember what it was. It was a gambling stock. They came out and said, you can not sell this stock unless you have 200% margin short. And that was supposed to stop it. And I said, you can sell it if you have 200% margin? And I said, yeah. I said, okay, I'll sell 200 shares at 200. And everybody in the room, it was at a broker's meeting before the market opened. I said, I'll sell it at 200. It closed at 198 or something like that. I sold it at 220. It went to 210. I covered it at 180 about two days later. That was one of my better ones. Hey, see you tomorrow, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.